Sell out here, record crowds in Munich. No, I ain't oh, the second event on the European Tour, the German Darts Grand Prix. Yeah, got a little run of them in Germany now. It'll be this one, the next one will be Risa, and then Sindelfing and the Glass Palast. Iconic Euro Tour venue, as is Risa, to be fair. Oh, well, that chance has gone. A word with himself. Gonna tidy it up. 85. But he's relying on Michael Smith missing this, and a one treble combo is well within his capabilities by the looks of things tonight. Yeah, it is. Looking down the board, there is the treble. Single. Leaves. Tops. Good. Ruthless from the champion. Absolutely ruthless. He's had four shots at a double. He's hit three of them. But if he could find his way to a title of some sort, that might open doors to things like the match play or the Grand Prix or the European Championship. The only way you get to the Euro Champs is by winning games on the Euro Tour. Yeah, you meet Martin Schindler and Johnny Clayton on the way to the quarterfinals at the Vice Championship 5 at Hildesheim. Well, the 164. For a moment it was on. Now it's Menzies who needs a three figure combination. It's a treble. Does not get it. The marker looks inviting and he didn't make use of it. But this is one of those finishes which looks not too daunting, but he might get one dart at double. There's only going to be one. To the top. Yeah. And look at the extra bit of time he gave himself there, going to tops. It is an issue that Michael Smith has had. Michael Smith. Oh, he's very unfortunate there. Very unfortunate. He is. But he is down to a finish. Cameron. Oh, could he leave a ton? Could he leave a ton? It might be a game changer, that. The bounce out for Michael Smith, the 180 for Cameron Menzies, this could change. Well, he's going to get a look at the 100 checkout. 70. Can he take 100. it? Brilliant. Tops he needs. Huge start. And he gets it. Cameron Menzies breaks back and he's now throwing to level up this match. This is a high quality affair. You can feel the pressure building. 436. What a visit that is from Bully Boy. Six. Won the Michael title here last year, Michael Smith, but he didn't have it all his own way throughout this tournament. Oh, I think that's... Why not? Oh! Oh, well, he's got time. He just needs another one of those. Oh, and can't 86. find Michael one. Rigon so Smith. 25. Six darts for the 25 to tidy up. Yeah, and move right within there. one of victory. Can Menzies reply Game. again? One of those games where you really do feel sorry for the player that goes out, but this is elite level sport. One of those games Six. where you wish you had, you had the option to just press a button and make him play best of 21. Problem is you might already press that button for its one use of the day yeah, already a couple of times today. Finally poised. No, Well, he's down to a finish, so he's going to get a look. You would feel at least at the bullseye. This is the quietest they've been all week, isn't it? 89. Absorbed by the contest. Coming to 90. Playing on the 20s. That leaves double five. Two fives miss for 5-5, five, five, and Michael Smith could Michael win it right here. 15. One more five he needs. Menzies can only look on and hope. Michael Smith. Well, that's not the worst start. Not that one either, and Good. that is a magical 1-1-5 one, one, out from the champion. Blows a kiss to the crowd. Picked up on, there you go. One can only but try. Yeah. That's the man in the black and white taking on the man in the white and black. 
I was going to say it's the one with the on short season. hair and fade, but they're both got that. Mm. The, the lighter haired one is Daniel Opera with the full sleeve tattoo. It's been a really good start. By both. Yeah. Vane. Beautiful. 11 dart leg incoming. And six. Magical start. Great start. Van Vane is off and running here. Oh, the only way Danny wins that one would have been with the nine. What we've seen so far has been wonderful. Well, Danny, Danny goes oh, under the radar beautiful. a lot. There's, there's no special effects with Danny. He's just all business. He's just a straightforward player. But when he's on, when he's on. Not quite fill it up. That's five darts we've had at the perfect. We've had seven darts yep. earlier on and eight. Look at the averages. But more importantly, he's, it's his turn to pressure the opponent's throw. Six. No treble. Well, he's, he's got to him. What can Noppert do here? That won't help him too much. Now needs a treble of his own. Oh, 85. Great last start. Can you go 127. Lane 127. Well, the shot very much on now. Needs the bullseye to hold throw and go 3 2 in front. And the bullseye he gets. What a finish. It's yet another 12 dart holder throw. Well, in the. In the six, leg, six legs we've played, Order. four of them have been 12 darters. It was a great first start for Van Vane. Oh, hey, can't you follow him with the last one. Loose last, but barring a max, no real damage done. But of course it's going to hit one. Is it one in each of the last three? Let me down there, January 146. Yeah, both on a finish. And this one is on. This one is very much on. For yet another 12 dart leg. Oh, stop it, Jan van Veen. That is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Four successive 12 dart holds of throw. There's no nonsense. Look at this. Well, he halves his score. And, and I mean, just taking out 1, 2, 7 and 1, 4, 6. If Noppert misses this, well, if he misses it, I expected that to go in. Van Veen might get a look here. A third successive Tum Plus checkout on his own throw. Can't do it. Thickness of a while away. It being on, 85. Picks Danny off the ball. 64. Danny may only get the one dart if he doesn't find the treble. So 16 and tops. Games on the eight leg. Danny. The freeze stays cool. <laughs> four four. No. Could be some pressure incoming here. Danny Noppert is producing and he is going to get a look at the 147. Whatever Van Veen does here, and how many times do we see that? They leave a bogey, they hit the two trebles to set it up. 147 then. He's had to watch Van Veen take a couple of these out, and now he's going to get a go of his own. Now he's going to get a go of his own. Sensational, absolutely sensational. Van Veen waiting on a one dart checkout, and finally a bit of emotion from Danny Noppert. It's a good job because that's a wild first dart. Nice reaction. 68. Oh dear. So Noppert here can really put the squeeze on Van Veen, and that's the way to start. Now, where does he go? He's switching. Yes, what a layup from 210 to leave double 18. 
More swings than an election. Baldy two, double 16 to win an absolute classic. All he would have wanted was a chance. He's going through it, he's envisaging it. Can he hit it? No, he cannot. And Danny Noppert's 174 means he's got three for the match. Is that friend or foe? Oh dear, pressure building. Noppert delivers an absolute monster performance in Munich. Van Veen, outstanding in defeat, 108.51, and he's out. Uh, a, a win against De Souza, 6-3, 103.94, and they made it look easy. 100. And Jose was good. He was good. The price could be brilliant today. Can Peter Wright back up that excellent display with another one? Stick him with the same darts. 62, so over 96. 64. Double 12, 11 data. 72. I mean, it, fortunately for the getaway, it, Peter Wright's back, but what's been happening is he's been creating that opportunity, missing and then losing the leg. 95. Leaving him when you require 12. ultimately frustrated. Game from the first Outside leg. is it up for a 13 Game data. Trace. Strong start from the Iceman. Finds it, double 12. 74, go when you require Couldn't 70. get a bit of tracing paper in between that point and the wire. Did the top's going to see. 50. Not enough to find Peter, it, you but he's missed 24. nine darts at double already in this game, Gerwin Price. This is bombing doubles. He can use that one, surely. Oh, it's nowhere near. Yeah. The double six is usually pretty reliable on. 18. Not on this occasion. Go when you require what a break 20. Back opportunity that was. 136. Another. And a guy who can't hit a double take out a 136. So that would be typical irony, wouldn't it? Peter, you and that, it happens so often. He's shaking his head again. Gerwin Price cannot believe that this is as close as it is. But it yeah, is close. So so this is, I mean, it's not right, at the like level of that match in the Premier League. And certainly in that performance last night. We averaged nearly 104. 140. And of course, it ain't over PT yet. Hold, break, hold, and Peter Wright might yet win it. Uh, Premier League. Go when you require 156. This would wrap it up though. Oh, he has to follow. Double 18. 120. He's not he surprised he missed it. He didn't miss it by much though. Yeah, in a match where he's had turmoil with the outer ring. It would have been almost Game fitting to have seen him Peter win it with a, a wonderful 156. Strong leg. Considering the psychological turmoil he must be going through, he'd be, he would be relieved to get over the line here. Yeah, he's still averaging a ton as well. The going price machine is not working properly. There are bits of it falling off, and yet, such is the power of it, it is going to drag itself over the winning line here, surely. 81. It's a bit like one of them supercars with a misfire, but it will still produce 600 brake horsepower. One hundred. Go when you require forty. Tops for the Iceman. 
to win the Battle of the World Champions. And this time it's another roar of relief for Gerwin Price, who managed to get away with missing 15 darts at double. Yeah, Humphreys has set the bar here. The first two legs have gone in five visits to the ball. Luke Woodhouse would have known beforehand that he's going to have to start trading in 15 darters or better more than likely in this game. 85. This is a chance. Get a break back. Set it up, take it out. Hope that Humphreys doesn't take the 140 in between. 136. Luke, you require 140. Right, first start. Unbelievable. Game Absolutely unbelievable. Luke Woodhouse is sat on a two dart finish to break throw. Martin Schindler is hovering outside those spots. He's still in the tournament. We've seen him next up against Damon Hetter. But there are players above him who he will fancy. I'm in, better, I'm in better form than Andrew Gildin. I'm in better form than Brendan Dolan right now. He will be looking up as well as down in that particular race. And there is plenty of time to go in that race. But he is in the discussion. Luke Not something he's been in before. No. And a good couple of weeks. But hang on. You might have to wait here. Bullseye. Game from the fifth leg. It's Luke Humphrey's world. Dreams. And we're all just privileged to be here watching it. We saw earlier on Cameron Menzies didn't do much wrong. Was beaten by Michael Smith. Gian Van Veen missed one dart, basically. That cost him the match against Danny Noppert. But credit to Woodhouse. This is a really good performance in the face of some utter brilliance. 94. However, Humphreys is first to a finish, and when he took out 170 just two legs ago, but he had the second biggest finish of the game. Oh, what a setup shot that is from Luke Woodhouse. Luke, you require Proper game of darts, this is. And he's coming back for double eight. 59. And more importantly, a break Luke, of throw 16. to move within one. Games on the seventh leg. Every opportunity he has been given, he has taken. Humphreys acknowledges that. And two visits away, potentially, from a level match here. Oh, another couple in there. Tell you what. Oh, Luke Woodhouse, this is superb. Are we watching a computer game here? Must they just not too miss it? 100. Luke, you require well, a little marker dart just outside the double 18 and then straight into it, your second dart. That's been the plan so far. Oh, missing inside for the first time. There's your sort of marker. And it wasn't as good as the others. And when you're Luke playing a guy in this kind of form, you can't afford mistakes. That was a mistake. Will it be punished? Tops. Game it is punished. Ruthlessly punished. Woodhouse gave himself a chance to level up. And he's down to you to be good enough to stop it. And Luke Woodhouse, for large portions of this game, has done brilliantly to 100. stick with him and pose him problems. But when he's playing this 107 average, you can't afford to make a mistake. And that was a mistake in the previous leg, and ultimately it might be fake. Yeah, it was. Three darts missed at double. 83. Luke, you require 161. You look at the tail of the tape. There's another big finish. Could be incoming here. Bullseye to wrap up the match. Good and he time. delivers again. Luke, Luke Humphries. Well, Luke Woodhouse applauds. The crowd applaud. 7-1. Schindler back in the red bit. Pick your side, Martin. Well, right straight down the middle. It's a song, isn't it? Straight down the middle. Schindler here getting off to a good start. Ricardo Piastrotsko beaten earlier on this afternoon. Need to force the issue here. Oh, single 20 will leave tops, and that's exactly 52. what he leaves with Hetter. Way back here on 2 1 2. Promises to be a magnificent day tomorrow. In the action on the Euro Tour. 
Tops end for Schindler and 2-0. Yeah, Topsy delivers. Oh, two Schindler. from two the on the outer the ring. First. And he leads by two legs to nil. He's been tested. What can the Heat deliver? 140. Not a bad visit. 140. Schindler. 140. Won't go. Well, this 86, Chris. I think from Hedda's point of view, has got to disappear here. Agreed, it, it's a must. Maybe only one at the ball. Or one at double seven. 72. Another mistake. Schindler again looks at tops. Yeah, it's on the fifth 13 dark break of throw. It's and Schindler's two away from the last Game. 16. Which is a uh, the respectable. Here comes Hetter. 140. He's looking for a second max of the leg. One hundred. Then you require 81. Schindler's given himself a chance. Hetter's just double checking. 12 ball. Six. Martin Uruguay, 106. Could be much closer. Nope. It was on the money. 86 remaining. Double 16 for 5 1. Good. And the wall is going to take some jumping Tonight, over here. This Damon Hedges has got to reel off five on the spin. We saw Humphreys take out 1 6 1 for the match. Won't go this time. Oh, 170. Yeah. 140, yeah, no. 65, Damien Rigo, 111, 76. 76. 17, got big dart for Damon Hetter. 17. Is that his last dart here 96. in Munich? Yeah, that is pocket picked in the last leg. Oh dear. Game shot. German joy in Martin Munich. Schindler. The second year it came for here at the Zenit in Munich. He won that as well. One and then he won it again the following year. Pretty sure we've done a tournament by TV. 58. Well, maybe I've, I've played that. Who knows? Played most places, man. Mm -hmm. But he didn't More play in this last year. It's almost as if when Michael Van Gerwen is on this unbeaten run in this tournament, two years ago, got all the way to the semi-finals and then got thrashed 7-0 by Luke Humphreys. He didn't fancy coming back next year. Yeah, but he's here now leg. and he's got a leg on the board, oh, one apiece. The leg is Jeffrey to throw first. That's Ryan Joyce, who's played some great darts. And he's only just become unseeded, hasn't he? He hit me. He's in the mix, yeah. but he, I don't think he's been a seed on these... Maybe ever, actually. But you've got a lot of seeded players in that One. bottom half of the draw. The top half of the draw, we've got loads of unseeded players. Schindler, Doby, Aspinall, Watermaina. Now, Aspinall is unseeded. He is also the world number four. Yeah, that, that's, that's why I, I get confused. Now. Not that that's particularly difficult. You know what is difficult? Perfect legs of darts. But this man makes them look easy. Not easy enough on this occasion. 405. It's been teased a few times. The standard of play we've seen today may indicate that yes, when worlds paper, collide tomorrow, there's a great shout like that we will have one. And yeah. That's his second. That's horrible. It was far 45. too casual, and the timing was all right. Fifty-four. It's a bit too casual at the moment, Michael. Can't afford to be though, yes. can he? That's probably one of the, the big differences. He was so ruthless, wasn't he? It was. First to six, he'd want to beat you seven then. Oh, it's good. 
14. It feels like he's just sort of testing himself here. Yeah. The I mean, the desire to win, you only got to speak to him after he does enough. win. And like we require 16. That, that's not changed, but sometimes the yeah, urgency isn't quite the same. But what a way. Well, there are so many Euro Tour titles that Michael Van Gogh has claimed, and it's he's in a privileged yeah, position where you can go, oh, well, that one was one of his best ones, and that one wasn't a very good one for his standards. These are the pinnacle of some players' careers, these titles. He's got dozens of them. <coughs> but his first win in this one was unreal. He only dropped six legs in the whole tournament, and he averaged 111 a couple of times. 102, oh. there, was a, there was a rubbish 98 in there as he conceded <laughs> two legs against Gerwin Price. But that's 2017 MVG. Probably the benchmark yeah. for any modern dance Whoa. player. That was if the peak. Yeah, and those kind of numbers will stand up the test of time, as Phil Taylor's does. Yeah, wow. the and yet, as well. and so yet it's Chris first. Mason. Game. But Van Gogh should be crafting an opportunity from here. 93. Strange use of the board there. Yeah, it had to switch because he couldn't see the. Couldn't see the 14. Well, that wouldn't have been any good either. It looks like he's got a bit of time. 80. How much time has he got? Not as much as he would like. Likely require 92. This is to win it. Double 16. Get and Michael shot. Van Gerwen does win it. And it's a shake of the head because the start of the match, it looked like Michael Van Gerwen was going to grind Jeffrey Desvan into the dust. Dimitri Vandenberg with his first max. It gets him right back in this leg. Dave just checking his score. 88. Dimitri require 158. Can he follow up the 180? No, he can't. 58. Dave, you require 76. On dart at tops, big step to the left for Dave Chisnell. Game and pins it. Great dart, leg. Dave Chisnell. Dave Chisnell. And leg, a rarity in this game so far, where a visit has just kind of gone relatively according to plan. Got to be perfect. Well, Dave, you he's done better than Chiz has. He should at least get one dart at double if he's allowed back to the ball. Good first dart. Now then. 74. The dart has been and gone. Requires 36. 30% on the outer ring, Chisnell. He'll stay there. He leave double 18. 40. Both have had a dart and both have missed. This is a golden Dimitri opportunity for Dimitri 36. Vandenberg to get the first break of throw of the match and lead this contest. Game Which he does. Leg. At this Dimitri stage of his Vandenberg. game last night, he was averaging leg, almost 25 Vandenberg. points game more on. than he is right now. But come tomorrow, it'll be a fresh new start. And here's Chisnell looking to break back. Now then, Chis. His manager, Roger applauds. The 180 gets him to 170. A little 
one minute spell of trademark Dave Chisnell magnificence could turn the game back Dave in his favour. Dimitri's not even down to a finish. It doesn't matter, he doesn't have to go for it now. He doesn't have to. He laid up last Good time, but this time he goes for it. Dave well, Chisnell's Chisnell just hit 180, 170, and a big smile across his face. Where has that been for the previous seven and a half legs? Well, that starts, isn't it? Yeah, you can... Just got to win. Easier said than done. Chizzy's done an awful lot of winning on the European Tour stages over the last year or two. And this little spell here. The last two visits to the last leg. This leg's decent, but all of a sudden, Dimitri Vandenberg throws it into doubt. That's his second maximum. Chisnell might need the bullseye again here. Well, no, he won't. Double 16, two darts. A move within one of the last 16. He squeezed past Game that, he can. And Chisnell, Chisnell takes out 86. And he's one away. Yeah, proper stuff now for Dave Chisnell. We have had to wait an awful long time for it, and truth be told, against other players tonight, he might have already lost the match before this good stuff turned up. But when it has turned up, it's been very, very good. And too good for Dimitri Vandenberg. There it is! Another max for Dave Chisnell. He is sprinting towards the finishing line. The top seed underlining his status, which is looking pretty questionable for the first eight legs of this one. 140. Davey require 42. 42 then to wrap up a place in the last 16 here in Munich. Two for tops, two darts in his hand. Been pretty so far. 22. And his weight will go on. Vandenberg, can he take it to a decider? I wasn't really sure what to expect from this improbable 64. game, but 164 is perhaps too much Dave to ask. Dave Chisholm. He's only hitting about a quarter of his darts at double in this match. But a lot of those misses came early on. He has tidied things up towards the back end of the game. He has got better in this match. Can he close it out? Yes, Good he can. Dave Chisnell with three Dave excellent Chisnell. legs at the end of a real struggle of a match. Clayton then, the advantage of the throw here. The ferret. 95. Yeah, down to a finish. What can Cullen do from here? 83. Bad, but Clayton will fancy he's got six from here. And that's a great first start. Oh, beautiful. Just takes a moment. One hit the green bit, but he's left it Joey within Rapport, two darts. Yeah. After single to double combination, if he gets a go, tops. Games from the first line. Magnificent. Quick, Joe, get Joe that Cullen. down before yeah. it falls out. He did. Second leg nice little fist bump between the two. Game on. On a night of big finishes. Come downstairs, he does. 47. Left an opening for Cullen. Oh, he's feeling. Leaves anything sensible. Oh, no 55. Johnny require 114. That was an error. Triple 18. Delivered. Right. Tops. Game for a 1 1 4 check leg. out. Johnny Clayton. And the dominance Six on the outer ring continues. Players. That is five legs where it's taken one dart to hit the double. I would have thought they will install Luke as a, a lively favourite. We'll have a look in the morning. 44. Joey he did Maguire, average 108, I think 0.68 today. Well then, making a bit of a mess of that first start, but rectifies things nicely to leave double eight. Good use of the board there. And Clayton can't do anything from here. And he's going to be waiting. 134. Will Cullen Maguire, miss again? 16. Just as a. A moment, Cullen, just to compose himself. Big moment in this match. Surely a great marker, Games and it is. Yeah, used it. Joe Cullen. Nine.
97. Johnny require 161. Johnny's turn. Nope. 100. Joey requires 74. I only get one, Cullen. And it will be one at tops. But Game one is all he needs. And Joe Cullen Cullen. finds the finish Nine when he needs it. He's one away. It sounds quite easy when you sat in the commentary box. Yeah. Someone's 97. Not averaging in the mid 90s against you. It is easy. You're averaging in the 70s. A piece of cake. 123. Johnny Decent requires 129. Again. 129. Start, oh, started downstairs but missed the big number. So Cullen. On a night of big finishes to wrap up the final spot in the last 16, he's looking at 144. And now he's looking at 24 for the match. Just inside. Johnny require 82. Flight of that dart and thought. That's in. 17 for tops. Stay alive. 62. To Cullen is back to win the match and wrap up Joey a spot tomorrow 12. against Michael van Gerwen in the last 16 here in Munich. Double Game six he needs and double six he delivers. No Joe big Cullen. celebration from the rock star.